Welcome back. Okay, now we have an idea what diabetes is. But let's figure out how the heck do I get into a position in a situation where my body is overflowing with excessive sugar? How does this disease happen? As we covered pre previously, diabetes has to do with the hormone insulin and its role in managing sugar, the, you know, high blood sugar levels in your body into turning it into energy that you need for everyday activities. But there are a few different ways that this thing can go wrong. That's why you hear the word different types of diabetes. The most common one that you hear every day, type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes, juvenile diabetes. Yes, type 1 diabetes and juvenile diabetes, more or less the same thing. Brothers and sisters, of, you know, siblings. It simply means, you know, diabetes that happen as a result of genetic issue. The person has no control. Frankly, their pancreas is actually not able to produce any insulin at all to support this metabolism we've spoken about initially. These are the ones that from the time they get to know they have it, they rely on the administration of insulin to sustain them. If we don't give them the insulin, they might die within a short period of time. This is the one you have in young, young children, young adults, young, uh, 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 young onset diabetes, juvenile, young people diabetes. But for the focus of this conversation, this course and discussion, we will be focusing more on the type 2 diabetes, which is usually generally reversed, referred to as adult onset diabetes or lifestyle related diabetes. But may I let you know, the word adult onset, I don't think is now, you know, I don't think it's not generally acceptable simply because we are now seeing this type 2 diabetes, this lifestyle related diabetes, even in far younger population than we used to see it. Previously, before you will hear of type 2 diabetes, maybe you're looking at someone from the age of 45, 50, 60 and above. But these days, it is not unusual for you to actually find someone in their teens now with diabetes mellitus, type 2 diabetes mellitus, that is. And I will get to the reason why that is. In fact, it's not far-fetched. Our lifestyle, we've said it, obesity, sedentary nature of what we do, all of us are on social media, everybody is using gadgets all over the place, and most commonly, things that goes in into our mouth. Did I confuse you? You're wondering what the heck is all about? Let's pause again, then we dive in. <laughs> 